time again for Tennessee, Tuxedo and his tail. One day, Tennessee and Chumley, in an effort to get out of work, sneaked away from the Megapolis Zoo and went down to the waterfront. This is the life, Chumley. Nothing like the sea air to make you feel full of vim, vigor, and vitality, eh? Hmm. Well, there's nothing like the sea. Battles, buried treasure, pirates. Pirates. <laughs> no one can stop me. I'm Redbeard the Pirate. They're all afraid of me. Can no one stop that tyrant? He sinks ships right in our own harbor. There must be someone in my kingdom who is not afraid of Redbeard. Find him! Yes, Your Majesty. Right away, Your Majesty. What we couldn't do with 5,000 gold pieces. I'm sick of being a poor peasant. We're going to be rich and famous. We'll walk down the street and people will cheer us. From what I hear, we're more likely to be walking the plank. Don't be ridiculous. Tennessee Tuxedo will not fail. Follow me, men. We're going down to our ship. Ship? Ship? Ship. 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 Stroke. 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 Good work, me hearties. Is the gunpowder ready? Uh, yeah, right here. How about the cannon? Here it is, Tennessee. It's really nothing but an old stovepipe. It doesn't look like a cannon to me. Just an old stovepipe. Cannons are big and heavy and have wheels on them and don't look like old tinny stovepipes. And... Uh... Quiet. Or I'll have you hung from a yard off. Or missing from the mast. Or hauled from the keel. And look at the ammunition. A bunch of old rocks. There it is. Redbeard ship. Ahoy! Surrender in the name of the Queen! Run along, you boobies, or I'll blast you right out of the water! <laughs> Ready? Aim! Fire! <laughs> Don't laugh, we'll be back! Just you wait! The ship, the ship, dead ahead! That's it! The pirate ship! All right, men, lower the sail! Look alive there! Watch what you're doing! Man the artillery! Aim! Aim! All right, men, now I'll just put the ammunition in the sling. A little more elevation! Up! 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 Ha -ha. Perfect! There it is! We're all set! Now, wait till Redbeard gets a load of this! Folks. Man the lifeboat. Ah, shut up and swim. How long, you landlubbers? I'm off to the flots of Ireland. Ah. All right, all right, so he got away. Uh, yeah, a long way away. Uh, how are we going to get him now? Simple, man. All we need is a bigger boat. Yeah, and where are we going to get it? From the Royal Navy? Ha, ha. Right. We're going to see the Queen. Uh, not me. Uh, off with their heads. Throw them in the dungeon. Uh, I'm not gonna go see the queen. Don't be ridiculous. Follow me, man. Well, 
Well, do you have a riddle, Chumley? Uh, yeah. How can five men stand under one umbrella and still nobody gets wet? Because it isn't raining. <laughs> Tennessee Tuxedo and uh, crew. Admiral Tennessee Tuxedo at your service. We have come to answer your poster. Good. We wish you well. Should you succeed in finding Redbeard, we will see that you get the reward. Consider it done. Uh, there is only one trouble. I need a boat. Uh, ship. <laughs> <laughs> but, Your Majesty, surely you're not going to entrust one of our ships to a, uh, a penguin? We like the cut of his jib. He shall have his ship. But if you fail, I shall have you locked in the dungeon forever. Is that clear? Tennessee Tuxedo shall not fail. All right, Admiral, you've got your ship. Now all you have to do is find out how to get where you're going. Nothing to it. We'll just ask the first person we come to out there. Nobody to ask. Nothing out there but water. Then we'll follow a path. No paths. Nothing but water. Water everywhere. No people. No paths. No signs. Hmm. That does present a problem. Uh, gee, Tennessee, look at that sign. It says, Phineas J. Whoopi. Ye all know it all. Problem solved while ye wait. Good work, Chumley. Let's go see him. And that's our problem. How to get to the Flotsam Islands when there aren't any roads or signs or anything. Well, now, what you boys need to do is learn a little navigation. Uh, navigation? Navigation. It's the method sailors use to find their way around the ocean. How does it work? Well, there are several kinds of navigation. There's celestial navigation, which uses the stars as guideposts. And there's piloting, which uses landmarks as guideposts. Then there's another form of navigation I'm going to show you, which is called dead reckoning. Now, the first thing we need is a chart. Mark that down, Chumley. Chart. Uh, what's a chart? A chart is a map of the ocean, like this. We also need a compass and a clock. Now, supposing we want to go from this seaport here to this point out in the ocean. First, we draw a straight line between the two points. So, that line is called our course. It tells us in what direction to sail. See, on the chart there is an arrow to show us where north is. Now, we look at our line and see that it points west. So we know that to get to where we want to go, we must sail west. That is our course, and the compass here enables us to make sure we stay on that course. The line also tells us how far we have to sail. What about the clock? Well, we use the clock to tell us when we get to where we're going. Uh, how does it do that? Did the alarm go off? Oh, no, 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 my boy. It works like this. If the distance you have to go is 100 miles and your speed is 10 miles an hour, then you know that in 10 hours you'll be exactly where you want to be if you stay on the course. Phineas J. Whoopi, you're the greatest. Thanks a million. Come on, men. All right, men. So far, so good. Let me see that chart. Hmm. According to this and the clock, we should be pretty close to Redbeard right now. <laughs> Get him, man! Tuxedo boy! Uh. Mm. On <laughs> I've got you now! I've got you now! got you now. You're supposed to be back in the zoo where you belong. Now get going.
Tennessee and Chumley will be right back with more cartoon fun. Wait, Mr. Whoopi! I've got a riddle! What do they call a monkey who sells potato chips? What's that? They said, what do they call a monkey who sells potato chips? Oh, they call him a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs>